what we're having a look at today is going to be uh, sowing seeds on your windowsill. Uh, not for plants you're going to put outside, but for things you can eat straight away. So we're going to have a go at looking at some, some spinach shoots, uh, fenugreek, rocket, pea shoots as well. We're going to try some beetroot, so I'm not going to let it grow to full size, but we're just going to eat the shoots and we've got some lettuce as well. So they're just sort of things that vary your diet a bit, uh, make it a bit interesting. Things we're just going to grow on the windowsill, so they should be ready to eat in a few weeks. So a lot of the supermarkets now have seeds in. All of the supermarkets and Little and Oldie and all the others uh, have a few packets of seeds. So you can try any sort of edible vegetable um, herbs or veg would be would be fine for this. I've gone for beetroot, peas, uh, lettuce and some herbs as well. Uh, and then what we're going to grow them in is just things you might have around the house. So we've got takeaway containers, uh, aluminium ones, plastic ones. We're going to use those to put them in. I've got a watering can and we've got, got some nice fine compost as well. This is seed sowing compost and again a lot of the supermarkets have this in at the minute because uh, it's sort of springtime, people are thinking of growing stuff. So but the first thing I'm going to do is use a skewer to make some holes in these because the worst thing you can do for seedlings is put them into a container with no drainage. They really will not like that. Uh, they need a bit of drainage and I'll show you how we'll give them water in a minute but first I'm just going to make a few holes in that container so when we water the water can go in and out and I'm going to do the same with the aluminium as well, poke a hole there, just using a little screw, a bit easier to do. enough. So the next thing is to fill them with compost. Now remember these seedlings aren't going to be in, be in here for a long time so we don't need lots and lots of this. We just need enough for the, the roots to something to grow in. So that's that one. I think I'm going to grow the pea shoots in that one. Just try and get it level. Um, this is the one I'm going to put the, put the veg seeds in. Shouldn't need to add any sort of extra fertiliser to this because there should be plenty in the compost already that will keep them going for a few weeks. All you need to add is water to them. So first with the pea shoots. Now this is a packet of, of peas that I've bought, uh, especially for pea shoots, they're called Twinkle. It says they're ready in just three weeks, so we can put them to the test. You can see they're just, pea seeds are literally just dried up peas, so I'm going to put them in a row along there. Give them a bit of space to grow. So again, these aren't going to be like the peas you have outside, which can get, you know, four or five foot high. These are just peas that we're going to grow just for the, the fresh shoots when they come through. And the idea with this is uh, you might sow some every week. And so as one gets ready to eat in three weeks time, you can harvest those and then you can have another tray ready to take over from them when they're finished. So you should be able to keep having some nice fresh pea shoots all through summer right planted them in so they're a lot closer than they would be if you were if you were sowing them to go outside and a lot more shallow tray right so i'm just going to push them in with my finger push them down into the compost there we go so they should be covered up there should be about a centimeter or so down Add a little bit more to cover them up. Right, so they're well secured in there. Right, what I'm going to do is put them inside another 
uh, tray that I haven't made any holes in. That's going to hold the water. I'm going to also um, put a label in as well, just to remind me of what they are on the day I've sewn them. So 1st of April, maybe not the best day, but we shall try it, see how it works. I need my water. I'm going to give them some water just to get them going. They're soaking through really nicely. So after I've given them this first soaking with water, uh, when I water them uh, in the future, I'm going to water it into the bottom of the tray. And just make sure there's a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray each time. So I won't bother watering from the top. doesn't matter if the top gets a little bit dry, as long as the bottom is wet. Uh, we'll just add it in there. And that's all ready to go. It just needs a sunny windowsill now. Um, if, you, if your windowsill's near a radiator, they might get a bit too hot too quickly. Uh, so try and maybe find somewhere that's sunny but not, not too hot. There we go, that's the pea shoots. And then this one, I was going to put a few of the uh, herby seeds in and the beetroots. Because I'm just going to, as I say, I'm not going to have a whole beetroot. I'm just going to eat these as, these as shoots. 